All right, good day, guys. This is week 11, lecture 11. We're going to be covering lecture 12 and 13 in this, in this class as well. We're going to finish all our lectures today. Next week, we're going to be doing exam review. Next week, you're going to have your, your projects due. Um, I'll be marking the projects. I'll be going over the projects with you guys. Uh, I'll be picking a few of them and talking to you guys about it. So there'll be no lecture next week. And then the week after, you guys have your final exams. So um, this is the last thing we're going to be talking about. All right last uh, slide PowerPoint slide so um, we're, we're talking about uh, ways to acquire customers online so looking at content marketing social uh, search engine optimization social media email marketing reputation man management affiliate programs right so when you talk about how to acquire how to get customers online okay that's basically what this what the slide is talking about. So there's a few different ways, right? So content marketing is creating and sharing of online materials such as videos, uh, blogs, social media posts does not explicitly promote a brand, but is intended to stimulate interest. I think we talked about this before, <clears throat> where you're um, you're not actually uh, you're not actually trying to explicitly like you're not trying to sell the product. What you're trying to do is you're trying to build awareness of the product. So talk about um, talk about things about the product, right? So for example, when Audi came out with e-tron, they came out with their electric car. Um, they didn't try selling it saying it's only going for $95,000 plus tax and save this much money. No, they didn't try to do that. They just showed all the features of it. So they're trying to build awareness, right? So you do search engine optimization, which is you know, going into Google and uh, having Google bring your company up first. Okay, so whenever you type in, like, let's just say um, we're selling tires and uh, someone goes online and says tires in Brampton. <clears throat> if you have proper search engine optimization, you'll be able to get your name, your company's name to, the, to one of the top, right? One of the top choices social media right social media obviously you're talking about instagram facebook all that stuff right email marketing so you can send emails i know you guys probably get a lot of emails from a bunch of different companies about uh, promotions and stuff so that's another way you can send emails reputation management right so like if you uh for example um if nike uh sponsors a certain team right so in college, Nike and Adidas and Under Armour, they sponsor all these guys, all these teams. And so once you have a grip of one of the best teams in the world, then that, that way you're using reputation management, which is like you're using your influence that you have, right? With, with, uh, different, uh, with different people, with different individuals, different teams. And then affiliate programs, performance-based marketing, right? So you... Um, Affiliate affiliate programs is like um, having someone in between who's doing the marketing for you, and then you pay that person for bringing in that, right? So like a referral type of thing. Okay, so um, for example, a company that sells razors, uh, men's shaving razors, is going to give, going to talk to some social media influencer who a lot of people listen to. For example, like Joe Rogan. Okay, so they'll say, Joe, if you if you send us X amount of clients, every client you send us will give you a cut. So Joe says, how do you know that the clients came from me? They'll say, okay, we'll give you a coupon. So if you write, if you if they go on our website and write in Joe Rogan, we'll know it came from you, and that way you can get the coup, you can get paid. So that's how these companies they track how much. Uh, how much sales came from the people, the affiliate programs that they're using. Okay, very cool, very simple, straightforward stuff. Online buying behavior. What is online buying behavior? Very, very, very simple. It's just the behavior which customers uh, go through while purchasing online, okay, in order to fulfill their needs and wants. Okay, there's three stages of online buying okay when you're buying something online there's three stages the pre-purchase purchase post-purchase common sense okay 
ways to retain customers online. So we talked about acquiring customers online, right? We talked about how do you capture them? You know, they say there's a saying that getting to the top is difficult, but staying at the top is far more difficult. So with that said, ways to retain online customers. How do you retain these people? How do you keep them in and have them consistently buying? Think of Amazon, for example, okay? I'm a huge Amazon user. I love Amazon. I think what Jeff Bezos is doing is incredible. And I don't have to go to stores and go here and go that. I can just go online, right? I can, like, let's just let's just look at this let's just look at this let's let's compare these points to amazon provide guest checkout amazon yes you can provide guest checkout which means you don't have to sign in you can just buy as a guest loyalty programs amazon has uh prime right amazon prime if you're on amazon prime you get things a lot faster you get things much faster and your your, your delivery is much faster upselling other items Amazon, as soon as you purchase something or you're on a screen and you scroll down a little bit, you'll see, oh, frequently purchased with this, this, this. So if you're buying shoes, soccer shoes, oh, you should buy soccer socks. You should buy soccer um, shin pads. You should buy a ball. It all says underneath there. Emails. Amazon sells, sends multiple emails on what promotions they're having, what this and that. Content, content and social media marketing. Um, Amazon does a little bit of social media marketing um, but content marketing they do for sure because they have a lot of uh, like they'll have trucks and everything and uh, like advertisements and stuff like that which are not explicitly selling their product but showing the value of their product their trucks will have their advertisements on it their um, uh, like Facebook will have um, like Amazon marketplace on it stuff like that so um, track customers behaviors yes it does track your behaviors because it when Amazon when you go online and you purchase something and you purchase something else person Amazon tracks what you're buying and it suggests things to you so like if you're a person who buys a lot of a lot of um, skincare products Amazon's gonna start suggesting stuff to you hey what what do you think about this what do you think about that Amazon starts talk start sending things to you like that okay um, subscriptions right Amazon has their subscription to prime right they also have you can get a Amazon MasterCard that gives you 10% uh, off I believe on every order and then genuine care for customers and I really believe Amazon is is top 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 quality when it comes to service because they take care of their people they take care of their customers and they if you ha if you need a return and you need to do a return they make it so simple for you to do a return and they'll take anything back right and they'll send you a refund as soon as they receive their the product they check it say all the stuff all the stuff's there boom refund right so that is extremely valuable when for a, for for customers because it makes them want to come back for more. That's how you retain customers. You keep them. Capturing is one thing, but keeping is a whole different, whole different ball game. Lesson 12, change management. Guys, I'm taking the most important things from each lesson and I'm putting it into this because I want you guys to know, I really am trying to um, stress that there's a lot of things in life that get thrown at you many 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 things get thrown at people um, you have to pick and choose what works right you have to pick and choose what information you want to retain so I'm making it easier for you guys I'm trying to make things I'm trying to put things in here which I believe from experience that are gonna be important for you guys through all these all these uh, uh, all the topics and stuff I'm trying to pick the most important ones that'll help you guys the most. And I'm only telling you they're going to help you because they help me the most. Okay, so change management. 
three types of change in organization structure. Guys, this stuff is going to be on your exam. One of the exam questions could be, tell me how, how companies retain customers online. And then I'm going to say, give me an example of how Amazon retains all its customers online. Right? Stuff like that. And I want you guys to list it all down. I'm going to ask you, what are the three types of change in organization structure? Developmental, transitional, and transformational. So we're talking about how to change things in an organization, right? How to change people, how to change processes and stuff like that. So the first one is de developmental change. So it occurs when a business wishes to improve a process or procedure, such as updating the payroll system or refocusing its marketing strategy. These changes are small and incremental. You aren't redesigning the entire workflow, but are simply refining it to make it better. Guys, developmental change. Okay, millions of companies go through this. Okay, so basically, let's just say that you have a really, really, really good service department. You have a really good um, manufacturing department. You have a very good um, uh, um, when you when you manufacture, you you deliver everything on time. But the only issue is your installs. Getting installs done takes you way too long because your techs maybe they're not the best maybe your technicians are slow maybe you don't have enough so basically what you're trying to do is you're just focusing on trying to fix that issue that's what developmental changes you're not designing the entire the entire business you're just trying to fix something that's developmental change transitional change changes you make to replace existing processes with new process new processes right transitional change is more challenging to implement and can increase your employees discomfort example of transitional change include experiencing corporate restructures mergers or acquisitions transitional change now when you're talking about transitional change you're talking about when the company itself is going through a transition for example when i was working on in quebec we had an office in the city our manufacturing plant was in one of the towns 25 minutes away. Everybody who worked in the office lived in the city. We were not making a lot of money when I first walked into the company. The company was losing money. And when the CEO came in, he came in and he was looking at things and stuff. And he realized, he said, we're paying $6,500 a month to rent this office space here when all of our when all of our work is happening at the plant the plant is not doing well we're stuck over here we're going to make a transitional change so we shut down the office in the city and everyone had to move to the plant now when you move towards a plant like it says here Transitional change is more challenging to implement and can increase your employees' discomfort. That's exactly what happened. I was okay with it because I was there to turn around the business and sell it. I was there to make money for the business. Majority of the people who were there were just there for the job. They don't give a shit. They don't care about what's happening at the company. They just want to get paid. They want things to be easier for them. So, when that said, a lot of these people were upset that we moved to the plant. They wanted to stay at the office because the office is nice. We're up high, 30th floor. You have the view of the whole city and all that stuff. But how are you going to have all that if you're losing money? So transitional change was definitely required. Transformational change. Guys, very important stuff. Very interesting stuff. It's going to be on your exam. It's going to be on your exam. Transformational change, shift in the business culture of an organization resulting from a change in the underlying strategy and processes that the organization has used in the past. A transformational change is designed to be organization wide and is enacted over a period. Transformational change, not to be confused with transitional change. Transformational change is 
a change in the company's entire direction. So, for example, the flower shop that we were talking about. The flower shop, when it first started, was a place where people can walk in, pay cash, visa, debit, pick up their physical product, and walk out. It's a lot of physical movements happening. Now, we wanted to trans do a transformational change into online. We don't want to have a store anymore. We want to go all online. That's a transformational change. You're changing the entire business plan, business concept into something different. Which means when you do a transformational change, you're not going to have people walking into a store anymore. You're probably just going to have, you probably have to close down the store and just get a warehouse and warehouse all these plants and have workers working in the warehouse. As soon as an order comes in, they package it up, send it to delivery driver, delivery driver sends it out. That is what a transformational change is. Complete change of the company. Transitional change is when there's things happening in the company that you have to that you have to change, right? Like the things that can make people upset or whatever. Developmental change, you know, we talked about all that stuff. It's all it's it's all it's all different. So analysis and design. Analysis and design. Lesson 13. Okay, so requirements for the e-business system. Okay, in order to put an e-business system into place, okay, if you guys are trying to put a um, e-business systems, you know, into place, like you wanna, if you're a flower shop, you wanna put all the stuff in, you know, you wanna keep, wanna turn everything online. There's a few things that are required. To telecommunications infrastructure, you gotta have telecommunications. You gotta have the hardware, you have the software, the technical skills, you have to have someone who's there who knows how to do work on online stuff. Financial, you have to be able to pay for all this stuff. And legal and policy framework, you gotta have legal policies in place, which you have to have lawyers, you have to have, you have to follow rules and regulations of, of, of the online, of government policies of online business, a bunch of different things, right? So these six things, which is gonna be on the exam, Six things are very important. Telecommunications infrastructure, right? Bandwidth and security. You got to have in security for your for your uh, uh, for your business, right? My business here, my the owner of the company. This guy, he just got he just got um, hacked, right? And these hackers said, if you don't pay us money, we're going to take all the stuff away from you. So, very very important um, to have security, right? So firewalls, encryption algorithms, so safety and requirements are extremely crucial. Okay, so telecommunications. Hardware, you gotta have the right stuff, right? You gotta have the right hardware. Um, backup servers, you gotta have um, uh, the right, you have to have the right, the right Wi-Fi uh, connection, you have to have the Wi-Fi routers, all those things, right? Software, you gotta have software, you gotta have programs that can run all your inventory you have thing you have to have you have to have software that um can uh people can go on like your website is part of your software too right you have to have the website running you have to have the um um able to be able to purchase things online you have to have all that interact and the visa payments all that stuff all working right so that's your software technical skills you need people you need someone who can fix issues. If there's an issue with your software, you need someone to fix it. If there's issues with your hardware, you need someone to fix it. Those technical skills are very important. Financial infrastructure, like we said, you need money to get to put things into place. You also need payment procedures, right? You also need to put into place, how can people pay for my product? How can I pay for implementing this, right? So finance, you gotta have all the financial stuff in place. Legal and policy framework, very important guys. There's a lot of legal legal stuff, uh, legal um, legalities and policies that you have to follow in order to go uh, online and be a legitimate online business. So very important. 
So lesson 14 we're going to jump to e-business implementation and okay guys so 11 ways to keep your e-commerce website running this is uh this is very important so once you guys have your own websites for your companies and um you're going you you know if you have a small business or something these are very important right so it's very basic common knowledge guys this is the last slide we're going to be talking about so review your dom domain names so if you have um let's just say your company's name was purely wealth if your company's name is purely wealth your domain is purelywealth.com you want to make sure that you always have that because once your subscription runs out someone can come and just steal that from you so you got to keep reviewing and make sure it's good update your content make sure everything's updated on your website make sure your links every single link works on your website check all the forms make a backup copy of your website right check account information don't let pictures and fonts get outdated make sure it's re refreshed all the time it's always new stuff um, review all company information make sure it's all up to date review website design review website SEO SEO like I said before search engine optimization your website where does it rank compared to your competitors where does your website rank okay guys so basically that's it um, this is that's it for this week uh, you guys are you guys project is due next week we're gonna be doing an exam review next week and then the week after you guys have your exams so you have two weeks to study for your exams one week to finish your project guys important 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 times coming up make sure you guys are focused and locked in I'll see you guys on live